I had seen um, symposiums in Europe, which are a little bit of a different deal, but I thought, well, here's the perfect place to gather carvers and have events. Here is just outside the gates of the Bybee Stone Company in the heart of limestone country. This is where the stone is quarried. And this is where all that wonderful architectural stonework in New York and Chicago and probably every state in the Union comes out of this uh, part of Indiana. I don't know, it's exciting just to come somewhere where this stone is a big thing, actually, because for most people, you know, once you've seen one rock, you've seen them all. You know? In 1996, Amy, along with fellow carver Frank Young, developed the Indiana Limestone Symposium. So we started with five of us in a muddy, muddy field, and it's developed from there. Today, this three-week symposium attracts folks from all over the country. Some experienced, some not so much. And I will help guide your hand. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of them are repeat customers. We've got people who come back year after year. Sometimes I call it a family reunion where everyone's on their best behavior. One of the original repeat customers was Sharon Fullingham. I wanted to carve limestone. And so I figured if, if I'm gonna learn how to carve limestone, I need to go to the source. This is, this is the source. Back in 2000, I was able to come out, sign up for my first symposium and uh, get my first big piece of stone and learn about the tools. I felt head over heels in love with it, more so than I ever expected. And uh, I'm like the old penny that just never goes away. I just keep coming back. For a beginner, like Sharon was in 2000, limestone can be an easy stone to fall in love with. With stones, Indiana is pretty soft. And it's probably one of the better things to, to begin teaching with. Because the, you know, if you start teaching with marble, then it, um, they don't really get anything done in a week. Whereas with a softer material, you can kind of move quicker, you can uh, teach more, and they can get more done, and the students get more excited when they see what's being done. It has a grain, but the grain doesn't affect the uh, cutting of it, so you can go into it in any angle. You don't have to worry about something breaking off, there's no flaws in it. It's just, it's just, I love it. The most wonderful thing for me is to come and to see the stone in the mills or alongside the road or at the quarries or that kind of thing. Everywhere you look, uh, even in the towns, you know, as you come, you know, further east, you see facades and, and the, the building materials and to actually see it is, is so exciting. No longer a beginner, Sharon served as the director of the symposium since 2012. Coming out here is, is basically the charging of my creative batteries. I am a solitary sculptor. I live in a very remote area in New Mexico, so I, I don't have that much uh, feedback for, from sculptors as such. You know, I've got a lot of painter friends, but when I come here, you know, I have all my old friends and I make all these new friends and we, you know, there's sharing of ideas and I think that's what happens with everybody who returns and the new people who come, They're, they are revitalized or inspired to go back to their studios with a fresh eye. I mean, I've been carving for, I think, 46 years, but you can always learn something new, which is, <laughs> which is great, you know, you can always you know, find a new tool or a new little idea that you didn't think about, like technique or something like that. There's always something. And in the case of the Indiana Limestone Symposium, perhaps that something isn't just the rock or a tool, but the person working beside you. I realized at this point in my career, it's like the, the stone is just the vehicle to have this group of people come together and, and I've met just wonderful, amazing people. I think 
This is a tender, soft stone, and it attracts and cultivates tender and soft people.